Would you like to try an exciting new hair treatment? It's free and available right now. Ah, lusher, more durable, and easier to manage hair. Sounds great. Can I get in on the deal? Sorry, you don't have the right hair. <laughs> Interested? It only takes 20 minutes. Sure, why not? Oh, I'll meet you at home later. Jerry, but it's velvet and all terrain. Wait, I've got the perfect idea. We can throw <gasps> Jerry a surprise party. Awesome! Old Jer would never expect that from us. Now, what kind of surprise should it be? I know! We can blindfold him and take him up in a hot air balloon. Or we could trick him into meeting us in a submarine and invite all his friends. We could push him off a cliff and not tell him it's a surprise bungee jumping party. Okay, careful, Alex. We don't want to give him a heart attack. <laughs> Speaking of heart attacks, Jerry's got to stop scaring us like this. <laughs> Welcome, ladies. Why can't we ever come here in style? You know, like in a limo or something? Oh, a limousine. Why didn't I think of that? I'll arrange it for you right away. Awesome! Yes, whatever. Now, down to business. Scores of people are reportedly missing in Seattle, Washington. The peculiar thing is they all disappeared yesterday. Hey, check it out. They're all redheads. You think it's a coincidence? Guess we're about to find out. That's a good guess. You'll be departing momentarily to figure out how all this ties together. And now for your gear. Earring microphone communicators, laser lipstick, wind tunnel blast strength hair dryers, jetpack backpacks, and third. Third? I thought we were on gadget number five. Third, T-H-I-R-D, tiny hidden investigative ring devices. Thanks, Jerry. We'll be in touch. Good luck. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, right, your limo. It's waiting for you outside. <gasps> Yes, and the word gullible isn't in the dictionary. <laughs> A limo, please. So you and your sister are very close? Yeah, we're best friends. She was supposed to meet me here yesterday afternoon, but never showed up. Maybe she went on an all-night shopping vendor and forgot to call. Hmm. What? I've done it like a million times. My sister's really responsible. She would have called, and no one we know has heard from her. W where was the last place you saw her? At this new salon called The Cutting Edge? She was going in for a free hair treatment? Did you get one too? I wanted to, but the woman at the salon told me I didn't have the right hair. So, your sister's a redhead, huh? Beautiful, isn't it? I hope she's okay. Me too. Hey, thanks for answering all our questions. We'll let you know if we find out anything. <laughs> I bet we go to the salon and check things out pronto. First, we need the right kind of hair. Red hair. Good thing I'm already a redhead. Because at 1250 bucks a wig, we're about to majorly exceed mm -hmm. our budget. Wow, I just love being a redhead. I feel totally glamorous. Welcome to the club, gals. Now you know how unbelievably wonderful it is to be moi. Yeah, and <laughs> unbelievably modest. Not. Enough chatter, Reds. It's spy time. Hi, 
Hi there. We heard a rumor about your phenomenal salon and the amazing new hair treatment you're offering. So us three natural redheads rushed right over. Yes, I see that. Unfortunately, you don't have the right hair. Sheesh. Rude much? Okay, so that plan was failureific. Now what do we do? We take off these totally sweaty wigs. Now that's great hair. Perfect for our innovative treatment. Really? Absolutely. Would you like to try an exciting new treatment for women with blonde hair? It's free and available right now. Sounds great. Remember the mission. Eyes and ears open. Duh, of course. I'll leave my earring communicator on. We'll be right here if you need us. I expect Jerry's surprise party to be completely planned by the time my beautiful hair is even more beautiful. Apparently, Sam's modesty is contagious. Not. <laughs> oh, you have wonderful hair. It's just wonderful. Thanks. I can't wait for the treatment. So what does it do exactly? <laughs> oh, it'll be a life-changing experience. I promise. Now just sit back and close your eyes. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> This is not good. Come on. <laughs> the door's locked. So are the windows. Apparently, they decided to close early today. How are we going to get in? By going up. <laughs> You put those aerobicized thighs into action. Right. Okay, down the hatch. <laughs> Freaky. Everyone's gone. <laughs> Guess the chairs must have gone through these trap doors. That means Clover can't be far behind. Jerry, and hope that he knows something. Hello, ladies. How is Seattle? Terrible! Clover's been kidnapped by an evil hair salon, a place called The Cutting Edge. Oh, that's not at all good. Well, let's see what we can find out. Yes, here it is. The Cutting Edge Salon. It's owned by a woman named Felicia Main, a famous wig maker specializing in high-end luxury hair pieces. Apparently, she's opened salons all over the world. Why would a famous wig maker want to own a bunch of hair salons? <gasps> Maybe she uses the extra hair from the salons to make wigs. Ugh, that's a disturbing thought. Speaking of which, I just received this news. People in Vienna and Rio are also missing after going into salons. Girls, I think it's high time for you two to go into the belly of the beast. Miss Main's main wig factory is in London. We're on it, Jer. Well, time to save Clover and stop an international hair disaster. I just hope we'll be back in time to surprise Jerry on his birthday. So the deal is we work for Jerry, an international movie star. Right. What country should we be from? Um, how about the Sweden? Oh, I like it. Jerry, the international Swedish film star. But we can't reveal his name because he's so huge and famous. Right. Okay, here we go. I mean, 
Okay, here we go. Can I help you? Um, we need to speak with Felicia Main right away. The future of Swedish cinema depends on it. Right, come with me. I'm Felicia Main. What can I do for you? I am Anna, and this is Bridget. We come from Sweden to buy some wigs for our eccentric employer. Yeah, he's an international film star. You'd recognize the name, but we can't tell you his name. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Why does he want the wigs? Because he's secretly bald. And everyone says your wigs are the best. They're right. I can definitely help. Look through these, then we'll proceed to order the wigs for your star. So, are all the wigs made here in this building? Yes, they are. Ooh, it must be quite a fascinating process. It is. Do you give uh, the tours? No, we don't. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for an appointment. Edwin, <gasps> please show these ladies out. <laughs> I guess rudeness is a theme at this company. Huh? Here's the exit, ladies. Have a nice day. Well, that was a mega waste of time. Maybe not. Check out this video I just shot. <gasps> that is big time creepy. I know. It's as if the hair process sucks the life out of people. We have to find Clover, and we have to do it before it's too late. Up there! Of course, we'll have to do a little bungee maneuver first. growing our hair so she can harvest it and make her wigs. Not to mention billions of dollars. Hey, I was right. Kinda. It's her hair treatment that's making us so weak. We have to get you out of here. We better do it fast, because once our hair is big enough, Felicia's gonna cut it off and dispose of what's left of us. <gasps> Hold it right there. Gotcha. As if. <laughs> here our young Swedish friends actually we're not Swedish we're here to stop your twisted plan too late for that I already have all the hair I want and more including yours all of you who've had the full hair treatment will now be taken to the harvesting room <gasps> you have to do something don't worry we will these straps before this stuff weakens us, too. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say that definitely beats the fire axe plan. It's time to save Clover to the harvesting room. <sighs> if only we could figure out how to get there. Totally backfired. Let's think. How can we get back up there? Red curtain. It's an open window. Clover. 
Clover, are you there? Huh? Yeah, I'm here. Shouldn't you be saving me by now? Uh-huh. Unfortunately, we're outside. Anyway, are you near a window with a red curtain? Yeah, but I won't be much longer. Soon it'll be my turn. Oh! 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 oh. Let the harvesting begin! We gotta get up there now! Ironic. Let's wash this disgusting garbage out of our hair. One group rinse coming up. Accomplished. Uh, not quite. We never figured out Jerry's surprise party. <gasps> oh no! I totally forgot! At least I have an excuse, you know, being abducted and all. Hello? You had plenty of time strapped to that chair to plan the party. Whatever! <sighs> oh well. Guess all we can do now is stop by and give him a present. <laughs> What 
you think? Well, it's uh, quite the unexpected treat. Though I must admit the real surprise is that you even know when my birthday is. Well, what do you know? We surprised him after all. I'm afraid I don't follow. Well, we were planning a surprise party for you, Jer, but we failed miserably. <laughs> well, that's a relief. I, I hate surprises. You do? Oh, absolutely. But only when they're on me. Cheerio! <laughs> I get them every time.